Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of Nettie Day Fiance right here on the channel. All right, guys, so let's get to it. We have some more sad uh, news about another couple breaking up. Yesterday, we spoke about Ethan and Olivia Platt from Welcome to Plattville. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about Christian and Cleo from Nettie Day Fiance and how they have called their relationship off. They are done. And this comes as a bit of a surprise. Well, Perhaps not really all that much, but during their season style all, they were still together and that wasn't very long ago. And so this is pretty soon after the tell all and they have now called the relationship off. They are done. So let's take a look at what's going on right here. So first off, let's go to this piece right here. Cleo and Christian's breakup confirmed. Um, and the real reason for their breakup and what's going to happen next for each of them. So Cleo and Christian's breakup was due to their different personalities and emotional needs, which became too painful for both of them to handle on a public scale. Now, Christian proposed to Cleo during the tell-all, indicating his desire to start the paperwork for the K-1 visa, although their relationship had many red flags and issues. Cleo plans to focus on herself and work on her insecurities and codependency tendencies, showing maturity and self-awareness, while Christian may try to remain in the 90-day fiancé spotlight for personal gain and attention. Very interesting. Now, about the red flags. Is there one relationship that doesn't have red flags? Maybe besides Kenny and Armando? Because I feel like pretty much every couple that comes on 90-day fiancé has tons of red flags. So that's really not all that shocking to me. Okay, so um, 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Day season couple, uh, season six couple, Cleo Corain and Christian Allgood have called it quits, which is making fans wonder what's next uh, for the couple uh, and for each of them. Cleo, an Italian native living in London and working as a model, met Minnesota nav- uh, native Christian online and the pair were talking for over a year before they decided to meet in person. Now, Christian flew to London to spend several weeks with Cleo around Thanksgiving of last year, 2022. Cleo was the first autistic person to appear in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, and she was the first trans woman. Cleo was the first trans and autistic person Christian had ever dated. During Christian's visit, they shared an Airbnb and tried to settle into each other's company in real life. Christian was criticized by his family for his relationship with Cleo because of her trans identity, and he tried to shake off their negative feelings. While Christian and Cleo had a tumultuous time together, they did end on a positive note. During the tell Christian and Cleo revealed that Cleo had visited Christian in Minnesota for a few months, and she grew close to women in Christian's family, but she was not introduced to any of the males. Yesterday, Cleo broke the shocking news that she and Christian, uh, it was probably about two days ago, she and Christian had split in an Instagram post explaining the real reason why they broke up, and this is what she said. I know a lot of people want to know and keep asking, but we are no longer together as we could just not deal with the complexities of a long-distance relationship while on such a public scale. She asked for privacy during this time, but had the comments turned on um, on the post. She explained that she would always love Christian, but said... They have very different personalities and emotional needs, and that was excruciatingly excruciatingly painful for both of them. Cleo relayed that uh, the last year and a half, they were together, meant a lot to her, and finished uh, by pleading, neither of us are perfect, I'm very insecure and codependent, please don't send him any hate. Instead of letting 90 Day Fiance fans speculate about their relationship status, Cleo took the approach of ripping off the band-aid and making the information public knowledge. As for her breakup reasoning, it's not surprising that Cleo felt insecure and codependent because she relayed that a lot throughout the season. The root of their split was their incompatibilities, and Christian has yet to address the breakup with a formal response. So he uh, proposed to her during the tell-all, which is why it's it's a little surprising, but perhaps not as much because, you know, as uh, as we're reading here and, and as we saw on the show, they were just not compatible, and uh, oftentimes... It's hard, you know, when you have an autistic person, a non-autistic person in a relationship, it's it's hard to make that a long-lasting thing just because each person has different needs and sometimes those needs, they don't necessarily meet in the, meet, uh, meet in the middle and so it can be really challenging to have a relationship that way. The stakes were very high for Cleo and Christian's relationship because Christian proposed to Cleo in front of everyone during the tell-all. While his approach was informal and almost seemed like an afterthought, 
Cleo took it seriously and said yes to the proposal. Christian uh, iterated that an in-person proposal was to follow so that he could start the paperwork for the K-1 visa. They then hit some roadblocks during the tell-all, but made it clear that there was a lot of love between the two of them. Now, their relationship did have a lot of red flags, and Christian did become a villain during uh, his season of Before the 90 Days for his insensitive and clueless behavior towards Cleo. He did things that made her uncomfortable and then quite learn from his mistakes so as to correct what Cleo didn't like. Christian would talk to women in front and behind Cleo's back. He didn't see it as being flirty, but as being friendly. However, Cleo interpreted negatively and thought he was flirty. Cleo said that uh, she gets stressed out in overly social situations, and Christian put her in harm's way several times. Moreover, Christian lied about his and Cleo's initial intimate night, saying they didn't have sex. Cleo confirmed they did and felt betrayed by Christian's attempt to conceal the truth. At the tell all, Christian defended his friendly personality and said he didn't think his behavior was wrong, even when told by everyone on stage that he needed to change since Cleo felt uncomfortable with the social things that he did. It became evident that Christian would need to change in order for Cleo to feel heard in their relationship. So a lot of red flags, like I said, this could just be down to an incompatibility between two different people uh, with different needs. And I really think that that's really a huge part of it. I'm not excusing any of Christian's behavior here, but you know, it's, it can be a lot to deal with if you have somebody that is not the same as you, especially when it comes to social situations, because then you always have to adapt and that can be really challenging uh, and, and sometimes really stressful in my opinion. So I can see both sides. Like I said, I'm not excusing Christian's behavior, but I think there's both sides. There's two sides to, um, to the story here. Christian has said that he likes being the life of the party and was even called an attention whore by one of his fellow castmates. Christian's intention to apply for the K-1 visa with Cleo could also signal his desire to stay in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise longer with their continued storyline. But now that Christian and Cleo have split, a single Christian might set his sights on the hit franchise spinoff, 90 Day, The Single Life. Christian is a self-proclaimed entertainer who may have come on the show for clout. And now that he has the spotlight, he might use his platform for personal gain and further attention from 90 Day Fiance fans. Now, would that be a shocker to anybody? I mean, is there like one person that doesn't do that that comes on the show? Because I feel like literally every person, especially now more than ever, just comes on the show for that. I feel like this has become really the main draw for the show to get, I was going to say contestants, I guess couples is probably the right word. Um, and I really think that this is one of the biggest draws for TLC to be able to get people because I don't really understand why they do get a lot of cloud chasers. Now more than ever, like three years ago, there was maybe, let's say three years ago was the Big Ed season. And Big Ed was definitely a huge clout chaser because when he came on the show, he had his own stupid stickers with his own stupid head that he put everywhere, even on his bag and everywhere. And that was a clear sign that this guy is here for clout chasing. And in Big Ed's case, it did work. But that was because the show was fresh during the pandemic and Big Ed did get a lot of clout from that, um, you, you know. But I think besides that, I'm not sure that the show really provides the cloud that these people are looking for. And, you know, on the other side, the cloud or the perceived cloud that doesn't always materialize is the reason why people come on. And I feel like it's kind of poisoned the show a little bit. Look, you guys let me know what you think of that in the comment section down below. But I always have this in the back of my head whenever I see a new couple when they come on the show. Are they here just because... They think they're going to gain 100,000 Instagram followers, which doesn't happen anymore. It used to. It doesn't. Okay, back to the article here. Cleo's breakup post made it seem like she is aware that uh, she has a lot of work to do and uh, going on in the next chapter in her life without Christian. She called out her insecure nature and codependency uh, tendencies, but did not call Christian out on his faults. This means she doesn't appear to want to air any dirty laundry. In fact, she tried to protect him and urge fans not to come for him. Cleo doesn't intend to make the split uh, dramatic, which speaks to her maturity and self-awareness. It seems as if Cleo intends to take time to heal after having her emotions played with Christian. Christian and Cleo were a very entertaining couple to watch in 90 Day Fiance. His fumbles with Cleo's sensitivities, uh, his wrongdoing uh, in his attempts to be social, and his suspect intentions of putting himself 
in the public eye did add dramatic value to the season. Their situation was unique and pioneering, and although they may not have been compatible, they had a great storyline compared to the other couples. So Cleo, um, you know, was uh, kind of winning kind of the PR war, and Christian kind of came off as the villain here. Uh, and I totally get that. I get that Christian comes off as the villain. And I do think that he probably came on the show for clout. Uh, like I said, this is really not shocking. Uh, it seems like, you know, there's always somebody that comes on the show for clout. Uh, and um, here you have a picture of them. Uh, you know, it's over. Uh, and this was um, her message. You know, um, I'm not sure if we kind of read the whole thing. She asked to respect. Please respect her, her privacy. Please understand that I love him and will always uh, love him. I don't regret the fact that he came into my life. And I was hoping that we could be a happily ever after. But we have very different personalities and emotional needs. And that was excruciatingly painful. OK, so we kind of went over that it's not because we don't love each other he will forever be in my heart we've supported each other a lot in this past uh, year and a half and i wish him nothing but the best i love him forever neither of us are perfect very insecure and codependent we, we hear those words a lot uh and this was uh, a picture right here so that's the post for today you see uh, a lot of these comments here are we really surprised by this i'm definitely not uh somebody else says good she deserves better it was obvious he didn't want to be with Cleo. He was embarrassed of being um, of being with her in public. Let me guess, he was still talking to other girls. So you could see that people are really on to Christian here. I'm so happy she deserved better. I would have been more shocked to see them still together. Cleo, you deserve better. She's a beautiful person, and I hope she finds her tr uh, true love. Good riddance. She deserves so much better. Not surprised. So no one is really surprised here, and people still calling out uh, Christian for being in it for fame. Thank God, Cleo, you deserve better. So you can see the trend here in these comments. Uh, people overwhelmingly uh, supporting Cleo uh, and overwhelmingly trashing Christian and his intentions and the way he treated her. So that seems to be the pattern here. Uh, like I said, I still think, though, that, you know, if Cleo is going to be in a relationship uh, with someone that's not like her, that doesn't have autism, I still think it's going to be a challenge just because of the difference in personalities uh, and uh, needs, you know, emotional, social needs, and so on and so forth. So I still think that's going to be a problem. Perhaps you should look for somebody that's uh, a little bit more like her, and I think that the chances for success would be a lot higher. I have nothing bad to say uh, about Cleo, but I really do think that she probably should go down that path. You guys let me know what you think uh, in the comment section down below right there so i hope you guys did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up uh if you did like i said let me know all your comments about this couple are you surprised or not most people are not <laughs> i'm pretty sure you're probably not going to be super surprised by this couple do you want to see christian on 90 day the single life not sure i do not sure i do but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below please give the video uh, a big thumbs up if you enjoy hit that subscribe button for more content right here i'll have more videos soon for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on the next one take care